Hi, this is a, a video on accumulation functions with uh, graphs. So, the uh, one example I'll go over um, states that the graph of f is going to be given, and I'll put up uh, the graph of f in a second. Oh, the graph of g, I'm sorry. Um, f, however, is going to be the accumulation of uh, the graph of g. So basically, f depends on how much area we accumulate from the uh, the graph of g, starting from uh, negative five up until uh, whatever x value we uh, designate. So here's what uh, g looks like, and I'll kind of zoom in here. Um, the y scale is uh, by 2. So this begins at negative 5 and uh, 12. It hits the x-axis at negative, negative 2. And then it goes down to, from uh, negative 1 to 4. goes all the way across to uh, 2. hits the x-axis at 3. And it's supposed to be a, a semicircle. Um, centered at 7, but the way I have it kind of uh, scaled, it kind of uh, shrinks it. So it's a radius of a uh, 4, the center is supposed to be <clears throat> at 7, and it's a semicircle. So, so for part A, it's saying to find the value of f of negative 2, and since this is an accumulation function, f of negative 2 is just really saying plug in negative 2 in as your upper limit. So it's going to be the integral from negative 5 to negative 2 of uh, g of t dt. And so this is just saying integrate it, find the value, find the area from negative, two, negative 5 to negative 2, which is going to be the area of, uh, of this triangle. So I'm just going to be looking for this area. And so I can just find the, uh, the area of that, which is going to be equal to 1 half. The uh, base of it, of this triangle, is 1, 2, and 3. And the height of it is uh, 12. So it's at 1 half times 3 times 12, which gives me uh, 18. And that's the uh, integral of all the function value at negative 2 is uh, 18. For the next part, for f of uh, 7, that's finding the integral from negative uh, 5 all the way to 7. And so that means I have to go from negative 5 all the way across to, uh, to 7 and find that area. So I have some positive parts, some negative parts, and some more positive. So I'm going to kind of split this up. And uh, down below the x-axis, I'll find this area. And then from 3 to 7, it's going to be this uh, this quarter circle. So I'll find that area as well, and then I'll combine them all together to get my my value. I'm going to do this, uh, split this up uh, piece by piece from negative five to negative two, and then I'll add the integral from uh, negative two to three, and then finally add the integral from uh, three to seven. All right, this value we already found in the previous part, so this is already going to be 18. The uh, integral from negative uh, 2 to 3, this is going to be a triangle that has a base of 1, a height of 4. So this is going to be 1 half times 4, which equals uh, 2. On this side, it's the, uh, the same thing. It's another triangle that has the exact same area, so this is going to be a 2. And the rectangle that's in the middle has a base of 1, 2, and 3, and the height of 4, so this is going to be a 12. So this is going to be a 14, 16, so this is going to be a 16 um, for the value. It's below the x-axis, so it's going to be a negative 16. And the last piece is going to be uh, the integral from 3 to 7, it's going to be a quarter circle. And then the radius, um, I said, was a radius of 4. So it's going to be 1 fourth pi, and then the radius uh, squared. So combining this up, this gives me uh, 18 minus uh, 16. 4 squared is uh, 16, divided by 4 is 4, so plus uh, 4 pi. So when I combine up all this together, it's going to equal. Um, 4 pi plus uh, 2. And that's my answer. Alright, moving on to 
part B. Now I want to find a F prime at 7 and F double prime at 7. Well, F prime of X is going to be the uh, derivative with respect to X of this uh, integral function from negative 5 to X G of T dt. And based on the uh, second fundamental theorem of calculus, it says that if I take a derivative of an integral, it cancels it out. Sort of like the little uh, thing I did on the previous video. This derivative and this cancels out. So what I can do is I can cancel out this derivative, this integral, and this swaps into place. So really f prime of x is the same thing as uh, g of x. So something you can kind of uh, think about is even though it's labeled as the graph of g, because we just established that g is f prime, I could really think of this as a derivative graph. So this is also not only the graph of g, but this is also the graph of f prime because of this established because what the derivative and the integral cancel out. So when I'm being asked to find the value of f prime of 7, well, I can just look at this uh, graph and say that the value of this graph at 7 is uh, 4. This is going to equal uh, 4. Now, if I'm finding f double prime of 7, f double prime, since this is already the first derivative, I'm measuring the slope of this graph. So this is measuring the uh, slope. of f prime. So the slope of this graph at 7 is going to be at the horizontal tangent line slope. So that derivative is going to be equal to, uh, to 0. So f double prime at 7 is equal to 0. And at the end I'll uh, look at what the actual graph of f looks like so we'll kind of uh, see that this all confirms what we're doing. And then there's two more parts. This is uh, part C. Find the values, find all values of x um, where f is decreasing. So, since we're lo looking at for uh, f decreasing, that's going to be where uh, f prime is uh, negative. And this will be rather easy since we already established that this is a graph of f prime. Then for it to be negative, I'm looking where it's below the x-axis. It's below the x-axis from negative 2 to positive 3. So you would say that x is decreasing from negative 2 to positive 3. Then f prime is uh, negative. Alright, and then uh, part D. Find the interval on which f is uh, concave up. Concave up in terms of the first derivative is where f prime is increasing. Now, increasing on this graph, looks like it's, uh, this graph is going up. It's increasing from the x value of 2 all the way to, uh, to 7. So from uh, 2 to 7, it's increasing. So you would say from 2 less than x to 7 f is concave up since f f prime is uh, increasing and so here's a graph of uh, what the f function looks like based on the uh, accumulation of of g so all this area is uh, is positive, so you can see that this is uh, increasing. As soon as it hits negative 2 all the way to 3, it's negative area, so it's going to be uh, decreasing. And then after 3, it accumulates positive area, so this increases. As far as it um, having a interval where it's concave up, one time it's concave up is from 2 to 7, and you can see the shape of it. It's concave up 
from 2 till about 7. Now it's kind of hard to see at 7 that it switches concavity just because of the way this uh, first derivative graph is. But you can tell that over here up past 7 it starts to take on uh, something that resembles concave down. Alright, and uh, that's it for this video. Or you can say it's increased.